Learning English Transforming Lives. Good afternoon, Grade 9 students. Today is June 16, 2022, and today we are going to learn new lesson. A lesson that is timely and you will surely use in your daily life. This is Teacher Ralph Anthony M. Pagayon, and I hope that you are all safe and sound. Now, before we begin, let's start our day with a short prayer. Let us bow down our heads and acknowledge the presence of our Creator. Loving and generous God, we praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings you have given us. Thank you for giving us a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Thank you for giving us a chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that had caused a lot of changes in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have failed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us stay focused on our studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gifts of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us the grace to use our knowledge in making a difference into the lives of the people around us. All this we pray in your mighty name. Amen. Amen for that. Now, we will check your attendance. Say present if your name is being called or simply raise your hand. Now, we're done checking your attendance. 30 are present for today and the others are still connecting. Next, I would like to ask everyone to follow our guidelines and protocols during our class. Uh, these are the classroom rules we need to observe. Okay, number one. Respect each other. Number two. Make your tables and chairs clean. Number three. Raise your hand if you want to answer. Number four. Listen attentively. And... Number five, use your face mask and alcohol if needed. And lastly, always observe social distancing. Moreover, as we formally start our discussion, I would like to greet you a pleasant morning. So let me explain to you our learning objectives for today. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to, number one, make generalizations. Number two, identify what is valid and invalid generalizations and number three recognize what is relevant and irrelevant data okay i guess you are all excited to know what is our lesson for today don't you worry i know you can easily understand our topic as i have mentioned earlier uh, today's lesson we will talk about making generalization learners uh, did you ever wonder what generalization is as I have mentioned earlier, we make them most of the time. That is right. We make generalizations like this. We can say that most of puppies are cute. Who doesn't like puppies, right? And another example, everyone loves... We can say that everyone loves superheroes, don't we? Everybody has their own favorite superheroes. 
And as a kid, we imagine that we are one of them, right? The question is, what is a generalization? So, generalization, anyone who wants to read the explanation, what is generalization? Yes, can you please read? Generalization is a broad statement applicable to a group of people or things and it is based on facts and experiences. Another explanation about generalization. A generalization is a broad statement about a group of people or things. It states something they have in common. Generalization is taking one or few facts and making a broader, more universal statement. Again, more universal statement. Example, if all of the girls you knew or you know play with dolls, you might make the generalization that all girls play with dolls. From that, your bases are the few girls you knew. Maybe your sister, your cousins, your neighbors, and friends. After knowing a lot of girls who usually play with dolls, a broader statement or more universal statement you could, could be made, which is all girls play with dolls. Now, let's continue by playing a game. Who wants to play a game? Here. Here you can see four different pictures of four different objects. What will you say about these objects is your own generalization. Let's call this game four pics, one sentence. I will show you a series of pictures. Then you need to give your generalization by making a sentence using the image that I will be showing. Okay, let's do it. What can you say about these pictures? Yes, yes, it's all about fruits. Now. I will show you the last image, the last picture. What can you say about these uh, pictures together with the last picture? Kids like to eat fruits. Children eating fruits. Okay, children are happy eating fruits. Yes, that is also fine. Or you can, or you can make a generalization that all the kids like to eat fruits. Yes, that is how we make generalization it is a general rule looking at specific facts and characteristics of a set of objects and figuring out what they have in common now in able to have your generalization be valid we need to add our previous experiences as our evidence this will result as our generalization that assumes similarity among all types of objects now to make it clearer, let's have one more example. The image I will show you uh, are pretty similar than the previous. Yes, anyone would like to guess? These are the images. Correct. The, the images I have shown you is about vegetables. Now. The last picture will give you hint before we make our own generalization. Okay, anyone would like to give their own generalization? Okay, the kids... The kids what? The kids doesn't like vegetables. Vegetables are good for your health. All vegetables are good yes or you can say all kids hate vegetables yes that is a kind of generalization now here are the two types of generalization there is what we call a valid or invalid generalizations or you may say true or false or faulty generalizations please Get your notebooks and pen with you. Write what are the characteristics of a valid generalization. Are you ready? Okay, number one. A valid generalization is supported by facts, experiences, and logic. However, if it is invalid, it is not supported by all the facts, experiences, and logic tells us it cannot be true. Now, we must remember we need to be aware of the things we generalize. Maybe there are things 
true to you but not with other people. We should check, double check and be cautious when generalizing things. Be cautious with other people and their beliefs. We should be sensible with their capabilities, culture and norms. Even if your generalization is valid, it doesn't mean we should generalize and not being mindful with other people's cultures and feelings. Again, to make it valid, it is well supported by facts, experiences, and logic. Please raise your hand if you want to be recognized. Write this in your notebook. Okay, number one, it is supported by facts. Number two, it agrees with what you already know about the topic. Number three, it uses logic and reasoning. And lastly, it is proven with several examples. Make sure your generalization is not faulty. Faulty means false. It is not supported by facts. And watch for the clue words to help find generalization, like the words all, always, never, everyone, most, many, never, sometimes, and nobody. Now, let's have a short quiz example whether a sentence is valid or invalid generalization. I will show you the sentences and raise your right hand if you think the generalization is valid and raise your left hand if you think the generalization is invalid. I will give you 10 seconds to answer each item. Okay, item number one. Everyone loves pizza. Timer starts now. Okay, item number two. Most malls sell shoes and clothing. Your 10 seconds starts now. Okay, item number three. All schools are made of bricks. Or, all birds have wings. Your 10 seconds starts now. Okay, most of you got all the correct answers. Nice job, everyone. The keywords we are looking for that tells us whether the generalization is valid or invalid is just right there. Mostly, the first words of all statement are or stated with the clue words. For example, this one that says, Everyone loves pizza. This word assumes that every single person on earth loves pizza. There are probably many people on earth who like to eat pizza but our reasoning and experiences tells us that not all the people like to eat pizza. And there are many people in our city, in our family, even in our own class who doesn't like pizza at all. So the clue word all tells us that this generalization is, in fact, Is it valid or invalid? Is it valid? No, it is invalid or false generalization. So the clue word all tell us tells us that this generalization is false. Next, in our second example, most malls sell shoes is 
correct valid now from our own experience we all know that most of the malls do sell shoes and clothing right thus this statement is valid and true as for the third example that states all schools are made of bricks this should be easy for we all know that not all schools are made of bricks okay as for the third example that states all schools are made of bricks this should be easy for we all know that not all schools are made of bricks i once taught in a school that was made out of wood and our school is definitely made of cement that that keyword in number three example by using the clue word all makes it what valid or invalid yes correct invalid same with our first example that uses the clue word all and lastly what do you think is it invalid or invalid or invalid number four all birds have wings just because the keyword all is there it doesn't mean that the statement is already invalid generalization in fact in order for an animal to be classified as bird it requires to have wings in some type of birds where they can fly it doesn't matter if it can fly or not they are still con considered classified as bird as you can see in able for us to have valid generalization we need to consider some things so the answer is valid that is correct now why do we need to know how to identify a valid or invalid generalization okay good writers give their readers evidence or supporting details when they make generalizations for example while you are eating with your sister katie had an apple you saw her eating banana afterwards she ate an orange then she drank a glass of mango juice from this example you probably think that your sister katie katie loves to eat fruits during breakfast or katie had a lot of fruits for breakfast then you generalize that your sister Katie loves fruits. From the example above, it is clear that our generalization is based on the important pieces of evidences. Based on the following supporting information, choose the generalization that suits it best. Write only the letter of your answer. Write it on a piece of paper. I will give one point in every item. Again, in every activity, I will read four supporting details and some evidences in this activity i will read four supporting details and some evidences then you will guess the correct generalization or the generalization that suit from the given evidences so let's start in this activity i will read four supporting details and some evidences then you will guess the correct answer or the correct generalization that suits from the given evidences. So let's start for item number one. Again, making a generalization based on the following supporting information. Choose the generalization that suits it best. Write only the letter of your answer. Okay. Number one, what generalization suits the supporting information? I will give you 10 seconds to answer. Okay. What generalization suits this supporting information? The answer is letter A. Helen Keller is an exceptional woman. Is valid generalization based on the facts mentioned. Even if she was deaf and blind, she was able to learn to read, write, and speak. From there, she was able to write books and being considered by Mark Twain as one of the greatest persons on her era. Number two, which of the following generalization 
will conclude our claim. Your 10 seconds starts now. Okay, the answer is letter letter B from the supporting details the president is the chief of the cabinet and the commander-in-chief of the armed forces he can veto bills passed by Congress and has control over the executive branch the generalization the president of the Philippines has many power is valid or invalid valid this supports the facts that he has ex executive power of appointment power of removal power of control military powers pardoning power and many more number three your 10 seconds starts now Okay, what's your answer? The answer is letter A. You are correct. TikTok is popular among young consumers. From the evidence, it states that 66% of the TikTok users are under 30 years old, which exceeded the FB users who were 13 to 28 years old and is popularity to the younger followers made the application downloadable in 154 countries. Okay, number four. The supporting details are the following. Which generalization will fit the evidences? Your 10 seconds starts now. Good job! The answer is letter A. The national government has imposed strict health protocols to prevent the contamination of COVID-19 just like social distancing in public places, wearing of face masks and face shields, only 18 up to 65 years old given permit to go out and washing of hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. Okay. Congratulations everyone! Now you know how to make a good generalization. You are able to identify what is valid and invalid generalization. Now for us to deepen our understanding about generalization, we need to identify what is relevant and irrelevant data that are proofs that the ge what generalization claims is indeed accurate or right. So for this example, relevant and irrelevant data Relevant data has proof, accurate, and right, while irrelevant data has no connections and not accurate at all. On the other hand, irrelevant data don't show any connection with what generalization says. To make it simple, these are information that have nothing to do with the generalization itself. Okay, for our last activity, please write your answer in a piece of paper. I have here two examples of generalization. Number one, most of the parks have a lot of garbage. We have the generalization. Most of the parks have a lot of garbage. We have A, B, C, and D. Please choose your answer. Your 10 seconds starts now. Find the irrelevant data. Yes, correct. The answer is letter D. It is irrelevant because uh, beautiful rainbow has nothing to do with garbages on the parks. Very good. And number two. Which of the following is an irrelevant data or an information that has nothing to do with the generalization? Most 
foreigners speak English. Again, most foreigners speak English. Your 10 seconds starts now. Again, which of the following is an irrelevant data or an information that has nothing to do with the generalization? Okay, your answer. Everyone answer letter. Okay, raise your hand. Very good. The answer is letter D. Did. Knowing someone's job has nothing to do with the generalization that says most foreigner speaks English. That's it for our enrichment about the topic making generalization. We now know what is relevant and irrelevant data that may support as evidence in our generalization. Before we end our lesson, please remember generalization make a broad statement about a group. Some are valid and others are faulty. Valid generalizations are supported by facts, examples, and logical thinking. Watch out for the clue words like all or never. Valid means true. It is supported by facts. It agrees with what you already know about the topic. It uses logic and reasoning. It is proven with several examples. Let's think about this. Does the author use facts to support the idea? Share past experiences to support the idea? Provide several examples and use logical thinking? Okay, for your homework, make two generalizations and support your idea with three to five relevant supporting details. I will give you five points each item. Have a screenshot of your homework and send it on a Google Classroom. Deadline is on Friday, June 18. Okay, thank you so much learners for your active participation. This ends our lesson for today. I hope that you were able to learn a lot. Once again, this is Teacher Ralph Anthony M. Pagayan, leaving you a saying from our famous scientist Albert Einstein, a person who never made a mistake, never tried anything new. We make mistakes, but it is important that we have to learn from it. Thank you, stay safe, and God bless us all. Bye!